On a Saturday in October of 2011, Lauren gave birth to a beautiful little girl named Haley. But what her physicians didn't realize was that as part of her delivery, Lauren lost a significant amount of blood. They were simply unable to intervene and respond to her hemorrhage early enough, and 20 hours later, Lauren died. It turns out that Lauren and Haley are not alone. Globally, maternal death has been on the decline, but here in the United States, maternal mortality rates are on the rise. They presently account for over 26 in every 100,000 births. Now, we have hemorrhage protocols, toolkits, uh, algorithms that can help avert and, and respond to a hemorrhage, but the problem remains recognizing the onset of a hemorrhage early enough to intervene. Today, all of us have technology that we're carrying around with us that can help bring a life-saving insight to this question of how much blood a patient has lost in an operating room. What if something as simple and ubiquitous as a selfie held the answer? Today, we can use mobile devices as medical devices in surgery. We can take an iPad, scan sponges and canisters and other blood-containing media, and actually measure accurately and precisely, and in real time, what a patient's blood loss is. This is something that's possible today. This exists with the help of, of a little you know, artificial intelligence. With these technologies, we can dramatically improve our chances in surgery. We can tackle maternal mortality and make delivery and surgery itself much safer, both here in the US and globally.